This is how to make uh, a TIE fighter from Star Wars. And we're going to make it with cardboard, and an egg carton, and some tape. And you'll also need uh, a pair of scissors. And optional is paint if you want to paint it after you make it. Okay, so the first thing that you want to get together is um, two squares of cardboard. So I think mine are about five inches by five inches. Okay. And I also have two small pieces of cardboard. They are about three by two inches. And I just have um, some masking tape and some clear tape, uh, regular scissors, and of course an egg carton. And you're, you'll only need two of the cups from the egg carton. So to start, I'm gonna um, separate the egg cups from this. And so um, you don't need to use scissors to cut egg cartons. Um, you can just use your hands to separate the cups. Just keep your fingers like close together um, when you are separating the carton. So just gently pull them apart. And you want to try to keep as much of the cup together as you can. So I always do this very carefully because it rips easily and it's worth taking your time to do it. So I'll do this one. This one. Okay, so there's my two egg cups. You don't need this anymore. So this is going to be the round part of the TIE fighter right here where the pilot would sit. Okay. So after you have your egg cup separated from the carton, you're going to have some like jagged pointy areas on the cups. So just take your scissors and um, trim those a little bit. So you can see how this part is, is longer than this part right here. So I'm just going to trim it so it's even like that. And just check the other one. Oh, this one looks pretty good. Well, actually, I'll trim this part. It's a piece of a corner. I don't want that. Alright. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is try to fit them together like this. And then use your tape to tape them together. I'm going to use the clear tape. You can also use um, hot glue for this if you have a hot glue gun. And that way you just won't see the tape. <clears throat> and you can always paint over the tape when you're done. I'm going to use some of the masking tape because the clear tape doesn't feel very strong. So now you're going to take the smaller pieces of cardboard and you're going to roll them into small tubes and then tape them. So I'll use my masking tape again. I'm going to trim that. And then you want them to be the, about, about the same size as each other. Same length, same width, and everything. As close as you can get. 
do one more piece of tape here. Make this stay. So now you're going to take your five by five pieces of cardboard and you're going to attach the small tubes to the center of the cardboard like this. Uh, I'll do it like that. I'll probably paint over this blue. But... Same on the other one. Now the last thing is you're going to attach the wings of your TIE Fighter to the sides. Um, you may find that the tubes that you made are a little bit too long, so you can always trim them. So um, I think this round part right here, I'm going to make that be like the window that the pilot would see out of. So I'm going to put my wing on the side like this. I'm wondering if since I have a hole right here, if I could actually just put it in there like that. I don't have that one, right? Okay, I think I'll do it like that. And I don't even have to trim it. So I'm leaving maybe like an inch or so right there. But it's up to you how much space you want to leave between there and uh, the cockpit. Now I'm glad I chose to use the masking tape because I don't think the clear tape would have been strong enough. Not at all. So. so I have the one side of my TIE fighter. Oops, this way. One side of my TIE fighter. I'm going to do this side. And I'm going to have to trim that one. So I think I'm going to paint this and I'll take a photo of it and make it the thumbnail for this video. And there's your TIE Fighter.